Hi, it's Gail Moffat and we are doing videos, or sorry, I am doing videos with regards to connecting to Saint Sebastian, to God and to many of the saints. And, and of course Jesus from time to time as well. Um, today we have Saint Sebastian because he always comes through on a Tuesday and so uh, and he talks about health conditions and and it's really quite interesting because he has a very sound technical knowledge. Um, so anyway um, if you are interested in hearing these videos don't forget to subscribe and press the bell so that you can always be kept abreast of, of what is going to be discussed. He's saying to me that he is um, quite excited about communicating today and he feels that there is um, a, an aspect of health that he feels is very, very important because he says that many people will suffer and he feels that the suffering is unnecessary and he would like to help people um, consider their lives so that this particular disease does not take a hold in their lives. And the, the disease that he is talking about is, is one that he has been discussing with Gail earlier. And this disease is, is um, known as osteoporosis, um, brittle bone disease. And he wants me to know that a lot of calcium is stored in the bones and this um, enables the bones to become strong and, and strengthen. He said, however, when, um, when we consume either certain drugs or when we consume um, uh, fizzy drinks or when we consume um, certain alcohol or um, um, certain sort of lifestyle choices like lack of exercise, he says that this is a time when, when the bones will um, release certain minerals including calcium in order for the um for the for the calcium to be involved in either detoxifying or helping um the the situ a situation that is elsewhere in the body and he says that um, for some people they are unaware that what they are eating and what they are um, and their lack of exercise or the drugs that they are taking or the alcohol that they're taking they are unaware that this is a precursor and this actually is a cause to osteoporosis and he wants to recommend that people consider a healthy diet, a diet that is rich in either, um, either dairy products or green leafy vegetables. And he feels that if people were to consider this diet, then they would consume an adequate amount of calcium. In addition to this, he would recommend that people reflect on any drugs or alcohol that they are consuming. If they are pharmaceutical drugs, then this must be discussed with your doctor, for there may be a higher need to take the drug as opposed to avoid osteoporosis. He wishes for people to understand that if you consume this proper diet and do plenty of exercise on a weekly basis, he believes that many people would not suffer from osteoporosis and in fact it would be a very, very minor disease. And he has observed with his research that many people in, in countries where there is a lot of load-bearing exercise and, and sort of nutritional food um, are unable to access the sort of typical Western diet, that those sort of people just don't get osteoporosis. It's unheard of. And he feels that this is so important that he discusses this with people so that they can understand and make choices about their lives, make choices as to whether they um, consume what they are consuming or lack of exercise or, or whatever that is. 
so that they can then move forward in their lives and be free of this disease that can be quite debilitating to many people in their lives. He wishes to thank you for, for listening and he says that he's very excited about these videos and he, he's letting me know that he also has a lot of preparation for the future videos and, um, he's got, and he's going to be discussing many, many diseases of how he can be um, either, how you can either um, treat certain ailments um, with with herbs or nutrition or or even um help your yourself with with um pharmaceutical drugs he believes that his expert is is um above most people's um uh, uh, understanding of health and the reason being is because he has spent lifetime after lifetime discovering um aspects of of health he wishes to pray. It is my greatest wish that I, with the help of God, am able to cure as many illnesses and give advice to as many people as I possibly can. My time with Gail giving these words so that people can receive this information is very rewarding to my soul. And I thank Gail for having this opportunity to do this work. It is my wish that as we move forward with these videos, that many people become more enlightened, more understanding of health and have a better way, healthier way forward as they consume a nutritional diet, as they um, consider the drugs that they are taking and look to herbs and nutrition in a, in a, in a more positive light. For, for their renewed health. Thank you for, for, for talking, St. Sebastian. So, back to Gail. Um, well, I have to say that um, I find it quite exciting because um, sometimes he's shared knowledge that has just wowed me. And, and I, I think that you will also um, as time goes on, each time he comes through with something different. And it's so um, it's just like a little snippet of information. It doesn't give us everything. But what it does do is it may spur us on to perhaps do a bit of investigation. Google it <laughs> and um, see what we can find. But anyway, thank you for, for watching. And I look forward to seeing you um, on Thursday with when God normally comes forward. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.